<laughs> I'm just goofy and I'm a little buzzed, but like, uh, you know, green wise, because I don't drink much. But hey, Aquarius, I was just singing a song, you know, it's like, close your eyes, make a wish. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, it says, and blow out the candle light. Or something. I ain't gonna try to sing because I don't know how to get on the verse, okay? But it says, for tonight is just your night. We're gonna celebrate. <laughs> so all through the night. That song is, um, I'll make love to you. Me, you want me to. Okay, so somebody maybe, I think y'all maybe they had a good Valentine's Day or something. I don't know. Is this scary? Okay. No, but you know i don't okay but then another song so i got that that's the first song i got for you and the second song was you can have anything i but anything i got all love me right on the spine na, 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 na. you know what they just told me in my they just tell me when the giver, when the when the taker becomes the giver. <laughs> Let me write that down. I don't know if that's your title or what. When the taker becomes the giver, we're gonna celebrate. <laughs> Blow out that candle, girl. Tonight, your night. I'm giving to you. <laughs> so, but. I don't know if that's when the taker becomes a giver. Okay, so some kind of shifts could happen, okay, where somebody normally be taken, but now they feel like, no, girl, I'm going to give it to you because you, I'm just going to give, okay? So, but you, anything I have, all of me right on the spot, you can have anything I own, work my fingers all the way to the bone. So, I feel like it's some type of situation that you're just putting yourself out there to, okay? It's like, here, you can have it all. I'll give it all to you. I mean, you worked it. Here, just take it all. I'll do whatever would it takes. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone. What I need to do, tell me what I need to do because I'm going to get it done. Okay? So, I feel like somebody could be hearing you out, right? And you're just like, okay, I'm going to do it. Whatever it takes. Maybe you getting a second opportunity or something. And you just, you know, you just ready to do all in. Like, I'm, I'm all on the spot. You can have it all right now. I'm going to do what it takes to keep it right. You look, Don't stop. It's on the bottom of this deck here. You don't don't stop because there is big happy changes and i'm gonna get to that in a minute but don't you stop okay keep going it's, it, it might seem like it's not paying off but it is paying off but i feel like for a lot of you it do seem like it's paying off i feel like you getting some type of wish here so so you got to just close your eyes and make a wish and blow the candlelights out okay so and then we got the star card here on the bottom that's you so but anyway i feel like that something is happening here something is changing something is shifting you're getting a wish or some type of Aquarius season is in this thing. You know, y'all that came through and just like, whoop, Aquarius to the front, please. Okay, so, I mean, things is changing. Y'all start changing, right? Y'all was moving from realizing y'all was toxic like just a couple weeks ago, right? So, things are changing. Things are healing. It's possibility in the air, okay? And now, I want to get to these possibilities. Let's talk about it, okay? So, with the Kipper deck, we have unexpected income coming out here, Okay? Some type of unexpected income. Now, this is not going to be for everybody, okay? But for there is a specific Aquarius out there. There is some some there will be some unexpected income coming out because of the false person that you dealt with, because of the person who um, wore the mask and lied about who they were, okay? The person that kept you expecting. Okay, and waiting and waiting and waiting, but all you ever ended up with is despair. Okay, until finally you ended the situation. Okay, the high honor card, God is showing up here. You will be um, rewarded for your efforts here with um, unexpected income. Okay, so that's for somebody here. Now we have an Aquarius out there feeling like they're left out in the cold, they're feeling a little left out in the cold here. Okay, because they feel like somebody either they want somebody to take action towards them or they feel like they want to take action towards somebody in order to bring out this balance out a situation here and bring clarity to it. Okay, because they want to put down some type of burdens that were maybe may have been in the way. Okay, and apologize here because what they really want in the situation is the Ten of Pentacles. They want to marry, they want to have a long term foundation, they want to take a leap of faith, and they want to commit into the situation. Okay, um. 
no longer conflict okay because i feel like they're no longer conflicted oh yep <laughs> okay i see it here now okay because they were conflicted but there's an end to it they're no longer conflicted around this um lover situation this deep spiritual connection or this type of connection that they're no longer confused here and they have put it into the conflicted i mean they're no longer conflicted around the fact that they want to take a leap of faith around this okay because they were in their head a lot of trapped but they've retreated from that because they see you as the empress and they are ready to embrace the unknown here okay and there's aquarius and heal the situation so it could be you that is ready to embrace the unknown and heal the situation or it could be somebody that just wants to take the leap of faith there. But I feel like it could be, so for some of you, I feel like it's you that want to take the leap of faith. And for some of you, I feel like it's a person that you have made feel left out in the cold because you don't want to take it anymore. Okay. Now, there's an Aquarius out here requiring some strength here. Or they're gaining strength. They're holding their self back here. Um, from solitude, from... Maybe seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe they're holding themselves back from type of some type of spiritual um, awakening here. Now, if you're not holding yourself back, there is an Aquarius out here that is going through a transition because we have the Star, the Strength, and the Hermit, three major arcana. Here, out of three cards that I pulled, there's definitely something major happening here in the life of this Aquarius here. Um, it's some type of awakening because these two stars, they, look at that. They go hand in hand. Something beautiful and bright is happening here. And look at that. That's so awesome because if you look here in the, the strength card, there's the sun. If you look in the star card, there's the moon. Okay. The moon and a star. And if you look in the hermit, he's got the sun, the moon, and a star. So it's some type of correlation here. Something's being connected. So it's like somebody's the light and some somebody's the sun and somebody's the moon. And maybe together they make a star here. I don't something like that I'm getting. Okay. Somebody's holding back emotions here, but they've made it a decision to put an end to it because they want to bring it balance in because they feel left out in the code, another left out in the code. Because of somebody retreated from them. Okay, because somebody wasn't expressing their their love, their, their because there was no love, no new love being expressed, or somebody's dealing with the past here. Um, but I don't feel like that person actually was dealing with the past. I feel like they're too inspired by the newness of the empress. Um, but that kept a stagnation in here, so it was a big misunderstanding, is what I feel like. A conversation will happen to clear that out, the air here. Oh, and it could have been a Pisces with my Pisces lighter falling out here. Um, it could have been a miscommunication that you had with a Pisces. Um, okay. So, now. There is, I feel like this could be approximately for the same person or around the same people for the unexpected income pile. Um, where you come, or the person that was feeling left out in the cold here could be for everybody so just take it where it resonates somebody's i feel like somebody's income is um enhancing here okay or maybe somebody's holding too tightly to in their income and they're needing to gain a new perspective here because they're, and they're needing to remember that slow and steady wins, wins the race okay you, some you got to spend some money you can't hold on to money that tightly because you'll end up you you'll end up lack and lack i feel i hear i'm not feeling um with this four of pentacles and that pentacle equal in five because um you're holding on too tightly here like you need it okay spend a little okay spend a little don't be disappointed spend a little stop being tight with yourself okay you work hard spend a little bit okay you deserve it okay now there is an aquarius that has been um, saving, stacking, and only spending where needing, okay? Being methodical, putting one foot in front of the other. I feel like there is something new here coming, okay? Something new financially, like a promotion or something that moves you from the Knight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. But it looks like a jump from the four to the Knight to the Queen. So I feel like this could go with the lady in the unexpected income pile. There could be more than one of you that it will be experiencing a, some type of unexpected income here, okay? Um, but I feel like there was a period of disappointment that you're working through here. 
I think you, I feel like you're working. There is um, a time of disappointment here. There was where you were crying over the three milks, the three cups that were spilled. But I feel like you're deciding to move forward and look at the two cups that are not spilled and put the work into that. Move forward here it could be with a cancer, okay? But there's um, you feel abundant all by yourself, okay? So you're 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 triumphing past this heart here. Judgment call being made. Something somebody, uh, okay? Somebody could have been somebody. Somebody is, um, Gary received some type of karma here for being put in a third party situation because the judgment call has now been made over the hurt that you experienced here. Okay. Now, fellow travelers, okay. Support is all around you. I feel like there are people that you are meeting on the journey. Okay. More and more. You're just finding out like things. You have a sanctuary, a sanctuary where you open yourself up to the spiritual source, where you go and you meditate and you pray or whatever else. And I feel like things are being, you know, you're getting signs and synchronicities that I feel like might be linking you up with fellow travelers here that are on the same or a similar like journey with you. And I feel like that brings in grace and gratitude, okay? I feel like there was a, a time of disappointment where you maybe had to reflect and redirect your energy because there was a path that you wanted to take, but it had no exit. There was a dead end there. So, but I feel like um, gates of triumph here. I feel like there was something new that opened up. In fact, I feel like it was that same path that had no opening. I feel like a transformation took place over that path that allowed you to triumph. And I feel like that because of that, you are now feeling grateful and gratitude because you are fellow travelers, okay? I feel like there is an Aquarius out there struggling, feeling like things are not going <laughs> the way that they should be. Feeling like I tried everything. I said everything I could to her. She just won't listen, okay? Don't stop, bro. <laughs> Don't stop, okay? Keep going because it might seem like you're not getting nowhere and it might feel like you're not getting nowhere but you really are getting somewhere okay because what you don't see coming is big happy changes okay big happy changes are coming all you got to do is ask your your angels okay ask your angels what steps should you take next what should you do next ask your angels is this working okay there are helpful people that are here with you okay that is trying to help you okay meditation remember the meditation brings answers and if you're wondering if you have any question okay know that the an the answer is yes okay you will receive some type of help from others, and it will be within the next couple of weeks, but it is ultimately up to you to reconsider. Maybe you gave up. Maybe you felt like you're not giving nowhere. Maybe you just felt frustrated, okay? But I want you to know that there is success, okay? And there is romance, and it's all about perfect timing, so sometimes you just got to wait. And during that way, sometimes you got to be assertive, and during that being assertiveness, you got to trust, okay? Trust in the divine and compromise okay maybe the compromise under compromise was no compromise is where maybe the hard time is had when it's time to compromise okay for somebody out there they have a hard time compromising and that's why they're having such a, a hard time because they don't want to compromise here and compromising is important okay look at that compromise fell back out compromise is important listen to your intuition okay okay so let's jump right into it with that being said we got all those out Okay, God, universe, angels, and spirit guides, what direct messages do we have for the Aquarius, please? Direct messages for Aquarius, God, universe, angels, and spirit guides, clear and concise. Show me the direct messages we have for the Aquarius at this time. Why oh, my nails keep chipping? I need some nail hardener. Because my nails just keep breaking off. Like... And it makes me sad because I've been working hard to grow these things. I've been my nails all my life. None of these we're keeping, but we are keeping that because it was already out. Finding sanctuary, okay? Opening your spiritual source. Opening to your spiritual source. That was on the bottom of the deck. Crossing bridges, okay? It's time for healing. Connecting, mending, and releasing. So, oh, it's something under that. A great adventure. Okay, so some bridges will be being burnt. I mean, not burnt. Some bridges will be being mended and some will be being released, okay? Then we got finding this, uh, finding sanctuary, opening to your 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 spiritual source, okay? Because it's time for mending. It's time for what you're going to mend, mending what you're going to mend, releasing what you're not. Taking a risk and venturing forward, okay? Because the voyage of the heart, love flows through you. 
into you, okay? Because something, look, navigating by the stars, that's Aquarius energy. Something was written in the stars here. So you just got to follow your heart and keep doing it. It's, gonna, it's written in the stars. It's inevitable. So it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when, okay? So look at some overall energy to clarify the spread here for Aquarius, God, Universe, Angels, and Spirit, God. What messages do we have? For the overall energy of the spirit for Aquarius, please. Messages for overall energy of the spirit. Occupation, distant horizons, and message. Okay, yep. See, told you. There's a decision coming up here because you've been working. We're putting in a lot of work here. And in distant horizons, there will be a message around all the work you've been putting in here. That's the overlying energy around here. Okay, so... Let's get you um, an angel message out and then we'll move to clarify. What angel message do we have for Aquarius, God, Universe, Angels, and Spirit, God? Angel messages. Compromise came back out on that ass. <laughs> That's funny. And forgiveness is at the bottom. It's not it's not the right time. So somebody needs to know that right now is not the right time for forgiveness. But just give it with a few weeks. Within the next few weeks, it things will change. Yes. Compromise. You know, bend a little. How bad do you want it? Okay. That's all I'm saying. So let's clarify. Why is opening the opening finding the sanctuary opening to your spiritual source because i feel like you need to go find you a place where your mind can be quiet because right now because it might not be the right time right now but it will be within a couple of weeks so you just got to compromise okay compromise with the universe and help let them bring the balance help you bring this balance into the situation here so you're gonna have to keep your mind quiet a lot of the times because you're gonna be thinking about this too much in two weeks might not seem like a long time to somebody but shit if you're anticipating the waiting, that's a long damn time to me, you know. Find the sanctuary. Clarify this. For the curious. I just feel like for your mind and your heart to stay at peace, you just need to do this. Find your place to meditate, to be at peace. Clarify find the sanctuary for Aquarius, please. Why is that here? Find the sanctuary. Why is that here for Aquarius, please? Find the sanctuary. the harm coming out seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and look at that waiting for it possibly look at that realizing that there is some type of new love or resurface love childlike love but the timing may not be off okay but the timing may not be right because it's definitely a connection here some type of connection some type of spiritual connection is definitely here with that hermit and that spirit that lover's card there's some type of spiritual connection at play, definitely. But the timing just may be off here. Okay? See, because the Hermit, he's looking right over here. At the, it's time for healing, connecting, and mending. And releasing. So it's time for a change, basically. In other words, this is something spiritual going on here. Okay? Because that's why I feel like some type of love situation could be driving you crazy. And if it is... Some type of lover situation, like a twin flame or something, it's very possible. It's like you just know that the way is this way. And if the person won't agree, won't come with you, won't listen. You know, it's like that. Okay, but clarify, crossing bridges. Look at that, the star in reverse, okay? Because some, something needs healing. It's, and it says time for healing, and the star in reverse come out. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Okay, so you, maybe you this was a connection. It was deep, and you feel like you know you've been... Twin flames will fuck you up sometime, okay? So maybe this was a connection. It was deep and it's just time to let it go. It's time to heal. Time to mend from it, okay? With the star in reverse because it's just, it took a toll on you with the star reverse. One more on crossing bridges. But I feel like it's gonna, the way it turns out is gonna shock you. And when we saying that, the four wands came out. You gotta walk away for now, okay? But the ace, you ain't walking away forever, I don't feel like, okay? 
the star in reverse because there is no calmness right now. Okay, you got to go work on your healing and your stability, okay? Work on taking charge of your life with the emperor. But I feel like within the next couple weeks, things will change because it's like a magnetic thing. Great adventure. Take a risk and move forward. So you got to trust that the universe is, is going to work this out for you. Trust that the universe is going to set you free. It's going to, you know, put in all the information and things that, that is needed in order for the situation to go to the way that it needs to go. In order to better, best benefit all parties involved, okay? And I feel like you, you're you taking a risk here. You're going to just let it go and release it and work on you and healing yourself. And I feel like that's something you've been doing for the past at least weeks. Okay, yep. Look at that. You focused on what the universe is doing with this four cup for her. You're focused because you realize the universe is going to bring in this big-ass cup of love to you. That's what the universe is bringing you. So you is versus trying to do it yourself and figure it out and be all stressed out because it ain't looking the way it should. You're going to follow your intuition. And guess what? The cycle's closing right before your eyes. Okay? So you're compromising with the universe in order to have balance brought in here to you. So let's see what that is. Why is compromise here? Clarify this compromise card. Clarify compromise for Aquarius. I feel like there you need to do some compromising. It might be your biggest, your hardest thing that you have a hard time with. Because I feel like maybe there was a time in the past where maybe you used to compromise with somebody that wasn't so fair. They t they tell you to compromise, but then they take advantage of the situation. But I don't feel like this is the same here. Clarify compromise. Clarify compromise for Aquarius. What's compromise here for Aquarius, please? Why do you show Aquarius compromise? Two of Swords, yeah. You're confused, but you, you want to stand your ground. But you also want to compromise, but you don't want it to end up in a situation where you're confused or left out or you're not knowing where you stand. All because you didn't compromise too much. I feel that, but you got to be willing to compromise some. One more on the compromise, please. Yeah, because you, yeah, that's what I said. You want to be, look at that. There's you on the bottom of the deck. Making decisions that are best for you. But also seeing the potential of what could be. Okay? So, I feel like you're going to be embracing the unknown here. You're going to be standing your ground. But you're about to go in and compromise here. Because I don't, even though it's unknown, look at that. Both of these cards both signify intuition to me. And since your intuition already came out here, I feel like it's already present. And even though you don't know where it's going, you can't very see, you know your intuition. Okay? And it feels right. And you can still stand your ground a little bit, but then, you know, follow your intuition. Because it's leading you to a victorious place here. I feel like it's leading you to victory with the Six of Wands, okay? It's leading you to what you actually want overall. And I feel like it's going to be happening really soon here in the distant horizons. So you just got to keep putting the work in. Occupation, that's like, oh, sorry. It makes my phone get unfocused. Occupation. Okay, so occupation, that's you putting the work in and constantly putting the work in, even though you feel like it might not be paying off the way you want to, but you're steady putting the work in here, and then you get a message here in the distant horizons about all the work that you put in, so I feel like this is where it's going to start to pay off for you, so let's clarify what is going to happen here in the distant horizons, clarify this distant horizons here for the sign of Aquarius, distant horizons, why is that here for Aquarius, please? clarify distant horizons, why is distant horizon? Sorry about distant horizons here for Aquarius. The star card is the first thing out. Distant horizons. Yeah. The Emperor reversed. Uh, why the Emperor reversed? Okay, so you feel like you might you feel like you got you might lack. Some of you y'all might feel like y'all lack. Some type of tools that y'all might need to, to in order to end up to close some type of cycle out here. Okay, with the Emperor Reverse. Somebody in the distant horizons. Emperor Reverse. Clarify one more on the Emperor Reverse. Okay, somebody's not taking charge right now because they're working through a disappointment here. They're working their healing with the star card. But I feel like in the distant horizons, you will be working through this disappointment. The disappointment will be worked through. And you will see an offer that you don't want to miss here. So you will be possibly expressing yourself emotionally. 
are going in to offer some stability here. Um, you might even feel the need to have control of the situation, but be careful with that because you don't want to be hurt. But there is definitely a new beginning here ahead of you. But be careful with that Emperor Reverse energy, okay? Occupation. Clarify this. Control won't be allowed. And maybe you're not trying to control it. And maybe you're just um, trying to grasp the confidence of it, though. Embody the courage you need. Okay, but I feel like here, with the occupation here. Yeah. And I feel like this is something that you did. You worked, the work, all the work you put in to heal. I feel like this is the work you did for as far as healing goes. Because three of, the three of swords is reversed and the six of cups. I feel like this is the healing, the work you did to heal the past. To, to realize, to put yourself in a situation to, to realize that you have all the tools you need to manifest what you want. Okay, and that's where the message comes in because you, you did it. You completed the healing and you completed a step or you completed the part where you get it. Okay, and, and you know where you're going to keep going without somebody having to watch you. Okay, clarify message. Yep, there it is. Damn, that's a lot. Because some, because you look at that Ace of Pentacles. Because sometimes you just gotta. Somebody sees you as a wife, or you see them. See, look at that. Somebody makes messages that hey, um, I want to invest in you. I want to nurture you. May even make you my wife here because you make me really happy. I want to have a relationship with you. Okay. I changed my mind or I made a final verdict and I'm in the cycle here. I'm cutting off what don't serve me because I want to have a new love with you. Something something to have, to hold. So somebody, it's, it's going to turn out. You just got to be patient. You just got to wait. You just got to compromise. You just got to bend a little bit. Work with the universe. Follow your intuition. Okay? Um. So yeah, I'm going to get you some advice when we get up out of here. But there's going to be a message telling you that, hey, you actually do make me happy. Even though you may be a little be a little, little controlling sometimes, we can work on that type shit. <laughs> what advice do we have for Aquarius, please, regarding this spread? Advice for Aquarius regarding this spread, please. What advice do we have for my Aquarius regarding this spread? Bless you. What advice do we have for Aquarius? The word in the spirit. I don't know if you sneezed at that time, but I was telling my kid, bless you. There could be somebody. It could have been an omen that somebody right in your house sneezed, and I said, bless you. That means I'm talking to you at somewhere at some point. What advice for Aquarius, please? And maybe you need to really listen up when it comes to this advice here. Okay? Be patient. Wait. Take your time with the three of wands. That's your advice is to be patient here. Be confident. Know exactly what you know. Trust in the universe. But just be patient because you already know what's coming here. You know that you have all the tools that you needed to manifest what you wanted. Okay? And you got other people's opinion and what they're saying and what they're thinking and what they believe. But then we got here what you know. For sure. So you can't worry about that. Stick to what you know and just wait. Watch the universe bring it all full circle for you. Okay? Compromise. Just chill for a minute. I feel like this waiting energy, this patience is very important at the time. To wait and be patient and to just to sit, you know. Heal. Work on healing, you know what I mean, yourself. And see what the universe brings to you. It's going to be some type of big happy changes, okay. So with that being said, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. What's the name? What they name it for you. When the taker becomes the giver. Yeah, I don't like that title. But. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be called. I don't know. Healing and hope. Yeah, that's what I name it. Because there's definitely a lot of hope here. You got to have hope because um, you know something, okay? And the way it looks and the what you know is not matching up. So it makes you feel discouraged and make you might want to give up. So hope is important. The healing is important because you're already still working on healing. The star card come out here so much. You're healing. But you still keep it hope while healing because it's not looking like it's supposed to. Okay, but you got to keep that hope and that faith to know that what God said is going to be coming true. Okay, 
So with that being said, that's what I got for your Aquarius, and I do hope this helped you. Um, yeah, so until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>